surgery. I don't like the sound of that. See how easy I forget what I told myself not to waste electricity in that? Just do this instead. So much easier. Now, one of the girls managed to dart past the nurse today and throw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or, or merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed by the time I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now, without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break and set them almost a dozen times, each due to the small window of viability. Now, those children may be immortal, but I can verify they feel pain. Good Advising God. Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again. Oh, come on. Oh, is there a shot on panel anywhere? I, d I don't even know what. Why am I hacking a safe? There's nothing interesting in that safe. I'm just ignore it. Ah, here we go. You're much better. Where you go? Save me or no? Oh boy, another big guy. This is not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Maybe I do. Crazy bitch. Um, every area of this place is just freaky beyond belief. I'm just gonna not so much go here. Oh, there's another pediatric ward. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. Hello. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed. I get what the hell? With what's with this music? I turn the music down to three? I tell out of ten? And it's still this incredibly loud. <laughs> Eleanor is doing most of the heavy lifting here. That's fine by me. Let's send out some bugs. Well, so far so good. Honestly, it's not hard, you just have to... Wait for them to show up. There we go. And then, for some reason, it takes forever for it to re recognize that you're actually done. Oh, okay. I think. Yes! We're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. Quest error is a bit buggy. 
Looks like he wants me to walk in particular checkpoints. Let's just check these rooms quick if there's any story. You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. So she's... She's arguing against consciousness and self-awareness. So she basically wants... She's, it's the whole thing, you know. Ignorance is bliss. If you don't know any better, you can be extremely happy. Mind control for the for the happiness of people and betterment of mankind. But there has to be free will. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. I'm here. Okay, they're quite fiery. And they're <laughs> walking underwater. That's kind of weird. You would rip my only daughter from her home and, oh, shut up, Lam. and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, father. Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. Lamb's final assault. Well, I have just a thing for that. Those charges are a bit annoying. Nearly boiling. I don't care if he's trying to heal. It's nothing. I've got too much for them to deal with. It's boiling. I can help you fight back now. Use the plasmid. He's drilled and down. Oops. Let's summon a decoy, because why not? Let's um, bust out some shotgun. Whoops, that was Eleanor. Oh, wrong one. I've done it, Father. The ballast water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. Sure, I'll gladly do that. But I don't know where. Oh, it's up here. Keep guard, Eleanor. Best daughter. 
The elevator to the lifeboat is flooded, Father. We have to equalize the pressure in here or the door won't open. Destroy those glass tubes to flood the room. We... we've done it, Father. We're launching. Get to the elevator. I'm hurrying up as fast as I can. Wait, what? Wrong way. Oops. <laughs> Specifically the elevator. Okay. I thought I was going to be standing there near the glass. I guess not. There we go. There we go. You and me, Eleanor. You and me. The bombs, Father! We're falling! Run! Oh, boy. Oh boy. And then, Father, the rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed, you endured, and when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. We are Utopia, you and I, and in forgiving, we left the door open for her. The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, father, and I need you to guide me. Be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. If Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. Hooray! 
And we're done. Bioshock 2 is done. The story is over. I say that was a pretty good ending. Eleanor became a good person because of the choices we made. We saved all the little sisters. We well, the only one we killed was Stanley, but frankly, he he really deserved it. Um, judging from the way the game works, if we had been harvesting the little sisters, I instead of like freeing them to use the power, Eleanor probably would have harvested them as well and taken their power to become powerful enough to lift the lifeboat. And then she most likely not would have, since she was talking about forgiving, she probably would not have been forgiving of Sophia. But, I don't know. I'm not sure I would be so forgiving. When I started this game, I knew that the endings I had heard, like the endings would change based on your choices, so I wanted like a good ending, and good endings are usually the ones that come from being kind. But the only one, I, c I, I couldn't forgive Stanley, so I did kill him, but apparently that was fine. Still. And this is the end of Bioshock 2. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty damn good game. Very good. And it was definitely a worthy follow-up to the first one. But I don't think it was quite as good as the first one. But the first one had the benefit of being the first of its kind. And it was completely new to most people. And exploring Rapture for the first time was so cool. So, this was never really, really going to be able to do that. And it did have a much better twist. There really wasn't a big twist twist in this one, but the little sister area was amazing. And cool. There were lots of cool things in this game, definitely, and it was good. It was very good. So, thank you for watching this with me. And, uh... If you've somehow managed to watch through all this without having played the first one, go play the first one. It will still be pretty damn amazing, even though you might have been spoiled from watching or playing this. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. And, um... I'd say that's about it. So, thanks again, and uh, goodbye.